Good morning. Please rise and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Coming up next on News in a Flash, elementary music concert and high school band concerts announced, yearbook orders being taken, speech and sports. All this and more coming up next. Oh, good morning, guys. Sorry, we're just studying for finals. We're really, really scared here. Uh, welcome to this video edition of News in a Flash. I'm Caleb Hancock. And I'm Connor Couric. We begin our newscast with this top story. Thank you for all that participated in the, ele in the elementary student council Toys for Tots drive. We collected many toys for those in need. Stay tuned for a total count of toy don toys donated. Congrats go to middle school and high school choir on a great concert on Tuesday night. Mrs. Confer, Dr. Esther, and Mrs. Cheryl are very proud of the work each of the students has done this semester. Thanks go out to friends, family, staff, and teachers for supporting their hard work this semester by attending concerts, buying wreaths, and encouraging their efforts. If you'd like to come to concerts, listen up, because next Tuesday, December 15th, is the K through second grade, they will present the Polar Express Winter Concert in the Burris Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. Next, the Burris Indiana Academy Band's Winter Concert will be held this Sunday on December 13th at Pruis Hall in the Auditorium. The concert will begin at 3 p.m. and feature all elementary, middle, and high school and jazz bands. Admission is free Everyone is invited to enjoy an afternoon of wonderful holiday music. Are you looking for a one-of-a-kind Christmas present? Why not buy a 2016 Burris yearbook? Yearbooks may be ordered from yearbookordercenter.com for only $46 from now until December 18th. After December 18th, the book is $55. So order now to get the early bird price. This is the first all Burris yearbook in over 20 years. All students in grades K through 12 will be in the book along with their activities. So please, don't miss out on the celebration of the Burris family. Students from Mr. Canada's fall economic courses have been participating in a 10-week stock market simulation game competition. If you see the following students, please congratulate them on placing in the top 10 out of 137 teams on the fall stock market simulation game. Second place, Annabeth Turner, and Jennifer Plumowski, 7th place Maria Brown and Matt Dalton, and ninth place Garrison Rafus and Mimisha Gar. The Burris Academy speech team traveled to Fort Wayne Northrop for a meet this past Saturday. The team brought home a 10th place trophy with the following students earning ribbons. In Novence Broadcasting, Haley Chang placed 6th. In Novence Declamation, Haley Chang placed 6th. In Novence Poetry, Van Vandergriff placed fourth. In Novin's original performance, Anna Smith placed third. And in Varsity Congress, Jackson O'Neill placed third and was presiding office over the chamber. The team will be at home on Saturday when they will co-host a meet with the Ball State speech team. Burris faculty and staff, don't forget to sign up for the holiday carry-in on December 16th. The sign-up sheet is in the office. Owl fans, Winter athletic posters are now available outside Mr. Wilderick's office or at any high school home game. Featured athletes on the poster are senior Ryan Morey, Amy Minnick, 
and Emma Meyer. Supplies are limited, so get them before they're gone. If you ordered Alware in November, your orders are ready to be picked up in Mr. Walderick's office. And now, let's see which of our friends have a birthday this week. If any of your friends were on that list, be sure to wish them a very ho ho happy birthday. And now we go to Calvin Walter Heinzelman with this week's sports. <laughs> Thanks, and good, Connor, and good morning, everyone. I'm Calvin Walter Heinzelman with this week's sports update. This past Monday, our elementary boys basketball team defeated Westview in the opening round of the Elementary Basketball City Tournament and lost to East Washington Academy in the second round. Congratulations to our boys for a fine season. Also, our Lady Owls. 7th grade basketball team lost in a heartbreaker to Gilbert Street rival St. Mary's 16 to 14 and were led in scoring by 6th grader Marina Archie with 10 points. And our 7th grade boys basketball team lost to Frankston while our 8th grade boys won 41 to 28. On Tuesday, our boys JV basketball team lost to Southern Wells while our varsity team won 78 to 56 and were led in scoring by senior Tice Rogers 78 to 56. They will host Daleville tonight with JV scheduled to tip off at 6 o'clock p.m. Finally, on Wednesday, the boys' 7th grade and 8th grade basketball team played Blue River Valley. 7th grade lost, but the 8th grade was able to bring home a victory. The girls' middle school basketball teams lost the 7th grade game 20-9 and the 8th grade game 27-12 against Randolph Southern. They'll have their home opener against Frankton this Monday night at Ball Gym. This game will be a blue and gold out for the Lady Owls. Any Owl fan, adult or student, wearing Burris blue or gold will receive admission for only $1. For all of you runners out there, there will be a short call-out meeting today after school in room 123 for any high school boy or girl interested in joining the track and field program. To all middle school students, are you interested in being a part or the, sec or the second ever middle school swimming and diving team in, in school history? If so, Please plan on attending a short meeting after school on Monday, December 14th, 2015 in room 123. If you are unable to attend, please see Mr. Walderick. That's all for this week's sports update. I'm Calvin Walter Heinzelman. As always, be sure to come out and support all of our fine athletes. Back to you, Caleb. And now it's time for our weekly visit with Ms. Chupp from the Burris Counseling Center. I'm Elise Chupp with the Burris Counseling Center announcements for the week of December 11, 2015. Juniors and seniors planning on taking college classes for their spring semester schedules should have been working with Mrs. Margerman by now on permission and registration. This is a process that cannot be done at the last minute and must be done before winter break. So if you have forms to turn in to Mrs. Margerman, do that today. All schedule changes for second semester must be done before we leave for winter break. Please make any requests for desired changes now, or you may not be able to have the chance to request later. Submit, submit scheduled change requests in writing to the Counseling Center. Ball State University will be hosting Indiana's 6th District Congressional Leadership Academy on Saturday, April 9, 2016. Students can connect with business leaders, Ball State faculty, and experts from private and public sectors, as well as engage in hands-on experiences and interactive panels. This year's panels focus on one of four areas, bioscience, cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, or homeland security. Burris is able to nominate two juniors. If you are interested, ask Mrs. Margerman for a nomination by January 22nd. Applications are now available for the 2015 and 16 Optimist International Essay Contest. This year's official topic is Lead by Example, Reality or Fiction. Participants should be 18 or younger and are required to write an essay on the given topic between 700 to 800 words. The submitted essays will then be judged and winners announced. First place winners receive a $2,500 college scholarship to the college of their choice. 
Students who wish to enter can come down to the Counseling Center to pick up a list of rules and an application for the contest or to have any questions answered. The due date for this essay is January 4th, 2016. Two Brazilian Youth Ambassador Exchange students will be visiting Burris next semester. They will arrive the first weekend of January and stay until the first weekend of March. We are looking for two caring Burris families to offer to host each of these Brazilian teens. You can get to know a warm, friendly teen from Brazil while giving your family a fun and exciting experience. Expand your family's cultural horizons and make a friend for a lifetime. Contact Mrs. Mongerman for more information or if your family is interested. The answer to last week's question was who was in charge of the Empire's ground attack on Hoth in the fifth movie was letter B, General Veers. This week we had only four students answer correctly. The winners are Mason Schultz, Lily Arthur, Katie Nagel, and Jerry Fang. Please come to the Counseling Center to get your prize. Here is this week's question. When is the 2015 winter solstice, solstice, or shortest day of the year, in Muncie, Indiana? Is it A, December 11th at 11.49 p.m., B, December 20th at 11.49 p.m., C, December 21st at 11.49 p.m., or D, December 31st at 11.59 p.m.? Please come to the Counseling Center with your answer to the question of the week and any questions about these announcements. Thanks for listening and have a great week. Thanks, Ms. Chupp, for those very helpful announcements. Well, now we have Ryan Morey for the forecast for next week's weather. Hi, my name is Ryan Morey with next week's weather report. So as you can tell by the weather map right here that we... <coughs> it's finals week. Well, thanks, Ryan. That's very helpful. We'll all be prepared for the storm next week. Well, you know what time it is now, right? Noah gave this tip of the week. It's the last one of this semester. Did you know that there are many cheap alternative ways? No hats. Did you know that there are many cheap alternative ways of wrapping Christmas presents? Plastic bags work pretty well. They're pretty efficient because you don't even have to use any tape. They seal themselves. Newspaper on the other hand works extremely well. And all it costs is a quarter. Toilet paper, on the other hand, is kind of flimsy, and uh, let's be honest, no one really wants a present wrapped in toilet paper. And finally, if you don't have anything else, you can always use some burst spirit where you wrap your presents with. I hear it's pretty cheap and efficient way. Hey, who took my shirt? So, good luck wrapping those presents. Have a happy holiday, and have a good break. Wow, thanks, Noah. That was really helpful. I'll be sure to wrap my presents like that. Well. That's all we have for this week's News in a Flash. I'm Caleb Hancock. And I'm Connor Couric. And to all of you, hope you have a very great break and happy holidays. Oh, and good luck on your finals. We're going to go back to studying now. See you guys soon. <laughs>